What's going on, y'all? Uh, this is gonna be one of the most. This is yeah. This is the most important video I've ever made on my channel ever. Um, I'm gonna talk to y'all about something that's probably gonna throw y'all off. I'm gonna talk to y'all about something real critical. I had an ego death a couple days ago. That means that you understand your mind structure is broke down and you understand everything, which is nothing to understand because enlightenment is truly understanding what you don't know. There is nothing to know when you, when everything is literally you. And that's the thing I realized that energy is just everywhere. We're just vibration and energy. That's why Nikola Tesla said the great scientist Nikola Tesla said, if you want to think of the universe, think of if you truly want to understand the universe, think of frequency, vibration, and energy. Everything is just energy. Everything you've seen your whole life is just you. There's nothing else here. These vessels, it's just a fantasy. These vessels are just a shell. Ashes and dust. That's literally it. Everything is you. So if you're trying to chase something, you're just trying to chase yourself. When you have an ego death... You understand these things. You under, you might not understand because you're trying to live in a fantasy. You're trying to, you know, keep giving yourself a reason to feel, 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 understand, understand. But all you're doing is running in a fantasy. You just keep running the fantasy over and over and over. This is why they say in the Bible, God is an all-knowing God. God is all of us. God is an all-knowing God. So if God is an all-knowing God, wouldn't God have to go through all the stages of life to understand? Who goes, who goes through the, all the stages of life? Humans. We experience death. We experience tragedy. We experience happy, happiness. We experience every single emotion across the board. We are God because we experience every single emotion. God is an all-knowing God. God knows everything. The only way you're going to know something truly is if you go through it. Humans go through every emotion. We're all the same. Literally nothing's different. Animals, plants, trees, all of that is just a fantasy. So we can feel something. Yeah. Yup. Hate to break it to you, but that's just how it is. That's the reality. We're all the same. So if you're judging me, you're judging yourself. This is why that we say what goes around comes around. Anything you do to somebody else, it will be onto you. That energy will be onto you. When you hate somebody, when you truly resent somebody, you're, you're, you're the only one that's going to feel it. When you kill somebody, you, 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 you're the one that's going to get the punishment because you just killed yourself. Everything is you. We've been chasing these books. We've been chasing spirituality. All this shit is a fantasy. All of it. The food you eat is you. That's why they say what you, you are what you eat. We say these things all the time. Just some people don't want to admit it. If you on this video and you're denying what I'm saying, you're just, you're just running in a fantasy. Now, I'm not making this video to tell you not to live your life because we're still humans and we still f feel things. And I'm going to live life to the fullest. I, I don't give a damn who cares, who says anything about me, because I know everything is just me. So I'm just going to live life to the fullest, do, have fun. That's really all I care about is having fun. You know, having fun, staying to myself. And, you know, that's why I don't understand that people want to be criminals. And I don't understand people that want to do that. Uh, individual vessels that want to be murderers and criminals. But it is necessary for God to know everything. God is in constant revelation. God is everywhere at all times. That's why they say God is everywhere. Literally, humans are everywhere. God is everything. Literally. We say this all the time. It's just they took the truth in these books and, and covered it up with a bunch of stories. Fantasy. This is why we love sleep the most, because sleep is the cousin of death. We're in an eternity. Death is not a bad thing. Death is just a rebirth. When you die, you come back over and over and over and over again. That's the reality of it. And if you deny it, you're denying yourself. You are God. The animal you've seen over there is God. That's why I don't eat animals, because I understand that animals have their own life, have their own physical experience. But at the end of the day, you're, I'm not going to judge nobody for eating what the hell they want to eat because they're just eating themselves. We are the same being. We are the same. We're on one consciousness. Everything is spliced. Egos. Names.
Britney, uh, Joshua, you know, Joe. It's just labels. It's a fantasy. It's a fantasy reality. It hit me a couple days ago, man. It hit me hard. You know, and I call myself going through ego. I've never been through ego up until two days ago. Literally everything is you. Like, frequency, vibration. This is why spiritual people on YouTube, they say energy can never be created nor destroyed. Because everything is everything. Literally. That's literally the reality of it. There's nothing. There's no other way I can put it because that's literally what it is. It is what it is. Everything is everything. Literally. Chasing money, chasing cars, women, you're just chasing yourself. You're chasing a fantasy. Everything is you. You create people every single day, unconsciously. This is why when egos get higher in consciousness, they understand that everything is everything. And they understand that they have to meditate because they don't want to feel anything anymore. Because we, we're trying to get back to our true self, which is everything. Oneness. You know? You know? You're just chasing yourself. You're you're running around in a loop. Experience life. Yeah, I'm not telling y'all not to experience life. I'm not telling y'all not to be happy. But understand that emotions are just created by us. To, to feel something. To have a physical experience. And y'all want y'all to really think about that. How can God be an all-knowing God if God hasn't went through everything? We went through everything. Humans have been through anything you could think about. Humans. Humans are just uh, just vessels. Avatars. That's it. Everybody has their own perspective on life because everybody experiences different vibrations and frequencies. But when you see somebody else, you see yourself. You just you're just looking at yourself. On a different vibration. That's it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. When you see somebody else, all you're looking at is a different form of yourself. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Everything is literally you. People be stressing about life. Literally, you're just stressing about you stressing yourself out because everything is you. Literally. Happiness, resentment, anger, sadness, depression. Tragedy, we experience all of these things because we are all knowing. We know everything. We already know everything. I'm not saying that I'm not going to live life. I'm going to just give up on life. I'm not saying that because it's, you know, it's, it's things that I haven't seen in life yet, like different worlds and different places, you know. I said different worlds, uh, different like countries, but all of that is a fantasy too. But life is beautiful. Even though it is a fantasy, just like when you cut on a game and play a game, you know damn well the game is fake, but you're still going to play it because it's fun. So I'm still going to experience life because life is beautiful. Going in nature, going to different places, trying different food is, is beautiful. Meeting different vibrations, you know, meeting different people, even though people is just a, a part of the fantasy, a part of the video game simulation. That's all it is. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with experiencing. I'm going to experience. I'm going to just have fun. But in the back of my head, I know that none of this shit, in actuality, none of this shit really matters. None of this shit really, because it's just a fantasy. That's all it is. There is no God in the sky. There is no Jesus. There is no figure who's coming to rescue you. That's all in your head. All of that's in your head. When you feel something so strongly, you create that reality. You're God. You can create a reality in your head. You can believe in something so strongly to the point where it, you feel it really is real. You're God. You can create reality. Literally. This is why people, when they get successful, they say, I planned this. Yeah, because you created reality. We're God. Everything is God. Some people are going to take this video the wrong way. Some people are going to think I'm crazy. You know, some people are going to think I'm ridiculous. But it is what it is. You're judging yourself because I'm just you. I'm just talking to myself. I'm talking to myself on a camera. Literally. Every view that I get, I don't care if I got a million views on this video. I'm talking to myself. Some vessels don't realize it, but I'm talking to myself. Literally. Everything is everything. 
Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Energy only transfers. Everything is energy transference. This is why when you eat animals, the animal went through death. The animal went through madness, torture. You're going to feel that. This is why some people feel depressed because of what the thing, the energy they take in. Everything is energy. Literally, there's nothing different. We appear different because we have these egos. Isaiah, ego, this shell is just a shell, ego, I had an ego death, you know, and if you're watching this video and you don't agree with what I'm saying and you, you know, you're judging me, you're going to tell me this, yada, 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 you're just judging yourself and you're going along with the fantasy, you know, you're just telling yourself that to make yourself feel something. To make a point out of it, you're just going to run in a circle. So I would say to y'all, well, I would say to myself, just live life. Just live life, man. Live life. Enjoy the good and the bad moments because there is a frequency of love and hate. You 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 decide what frequency you want to be on, love or hate. But you're God at the end of the day, so you can decide whatever frequency you want to be on. That's just the reality of it.